Imagine building your own AI agent from scratch without writing a single line of code. Sounds impossible? Not today. In today's video, I'm going to show you the ultimate combo to build any AI agent, even if you are a complete beginner with zero coding experience. In Flowwise AI and Cursor AI, you can create powerful custom AI solutions in no time. Whether you're an AI enthusiast or a small business owner looking to streamline tasks, this setup has you covered. So stick around and I'll show you how these tools work together to bring any of your AI ideas to life. Let's start with the foundation, Flowwise AI. In my opinion, the best no-code AI agent builder framework. It's a no-code tool that lets you piece together different AI components just by selecting nodes on your screen. So let's dive in. So I already built one and today's video is not about building the actual agent, more of combining those two best tools in my opinion, Flowwise AI and Cursor AI. So let me just walk you through the Flowwise AI agent. It's basically an SEO block writer agent. Let's zoom in. It's a multi-agent system. It contains a supervisor, which will delegate the task to the workers. The workers are a outline writer. Basically, as soon as the user types in a title for a blog post, the supervisor will delegate it first to the outline writer to write a SEO optimized outline. Then it will delegate it in the next step to the SEO content writer, which will write the actual SEO content piece. After that, it will delegate it again, this time to the content reviewer, which basically will review the content if all the SEO rules are applied, defined in the prompt. And last but not least, the content editor, which goes over the content and edits for grammar issues. Great. What we are going to do today is instead of just using the regular UI from Flowwise, we will build our own custom AI chatbot UI. For that, we will use Cursor AI. So for that, let's start a new project. Let me go into my code folder. Create a new project, make the cursor flow. Let's name it cursor flow. Then CD into this project. And open cursor. So in Cursor, I will start a Next.js project to build our custom UI chatbot interface, basically. So for that, go and paste or type in, create Next app, let that run. And here you can agree to everything. So after the installation is done, head over to our project folder and add two folders. First, components. And the second one, name it instructions. In here we will have a instructions.md file, which is the actual secrets using Cursor AI. Cursor AI can get pretty frustrating if you didn't plan the project in detail. So you have to do some homework beforehand. You can use ChatGPT or uh, Claude for that. What I do is create a instructions file. We have basically instructions like a project overview, uh, core functionalities where I describe what I want to use or which features I want the application to have and some additional requirements down here. And no worries, you don't have to do it yourself. I will have a link in the descriptions below where you can type in your email and I will send it to you so you can use it, including also a core template for these instructions. Let's close that. Next, let's go into the actual project folder. 
we are in the root folder right now. For that, type in cursor, cursor, my next app. Obviously, you could have um, named your project whatever you want. I just use my next app, the basic template. So this will open a new window. So why I'm doing this is because cursor will have some trouble finding those file and folder structure. So this makes it easier for the AI to find what it needs, like our components and the app folder. Great. Now, now here's the secret using AI with cursor. We don't have to write the code ourselves. Let's start the app on our local machine. Um, currently Flowwise runs on port 3000, so that's why we have to select 3100. Let's run that and open our new project. Great, it's running. Now back into cursor and open your composer. Uh, use a Mac, uh, command I. Now here we can add our instructions as a reference. Now we prompt our AI to basically build our custom UI. Build our custom UI. Strictly based on add files instructions. Give it as context or as a reference where the AI should look into. If you go into the instructions file, you can see I added our Flowwise API. Well, you can get this one. I didn't show you earlier. Let me do that. You go into Flowwise to our workflow and click on this button and then head over to JavaScript. And here you can theoretically add a authorization, but we keep it simple this time. So just copy it and then in our instructions file, you paste your own API into it. So the cursor AI LLM knows how to connect to our Flowwise API or has the actual connection to it. So build our custom UI strictly based on instructions MD. Let's kick it off and let the magic begin. So now you can see it creates the necessary files. And in our instruction, we prompted it basically to create those files in our components folder. And in our apps folder, you will see in a second now does this all automatically. The new files created by the AI and there's a custom UI. Obviously, it's not perfect. We could prompt it further, but I want to, what I want is to check if it actually connected to Flowwise AI. So let's type in a title. We want a Flowwise AI AI agent to create a blog post for AI agents for businesses. Attempt and see if it worked the first time around. It's processing. And there you have it, guys. It worked. It connected to our Flowwise API. Now let's head over to Flowwise and check the conversation. View message. And two and time. Day. Great. It worked. It did send the request and get it back in our Next.js project with our custom UI. Obviously, it's not the prettiest one, but I just wanted to keep it super simple to see how to connect Flowwise AI and build your own custom application. So you are able to even offer your services for a SaaS company, basically, or your own custom SaaS when if you want one to build one, but want to build the AI agent with Flowwise AI in the back end. So it's a perfect combination to build any AI agent you could imagine. So back to Flowwise, it did everything. Now we can accept it. And without knowing how to code, you can build your own custom front-end UI with Curse AI and use Flowwise AI agents. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this one. I really hope you could learn something new, which is one of my two favorite combinations using Cursor AI and Flowwise to build AI agents.
I basically stopped coding since 2024 and just turned into a software architect where I just plan beforehand what I want from the AI and the AI agent basically builds it. Again, it's super important to use the instructions file and explain it to, yeah, I don't want this anymore, to the LLM so it knows what to build. If you don't do it, it's a back and forth and it will be basically a headache. That's why it's super important to use an instructions file where you basically prompt or tell the LLM what you actually want it to build for you. So that's it, AI agent out.